and what that is is very important because of this. All of our people, we trying to get our kids and our families in orders. And then you wonder why your daughter's sneaking boys in the house while you go off to work. You wonder why your son and his boys is passing girls around the neighborhood. You teach them to celebrate a fertility holiday that's based on orgies. That's why you got your kids hunting for eggs on the church. You don't know it's a fertility holiday. It's about having sex rituals and orgies. You sitting up in the Christian church don't know what Valentine's Day is. Right. Valentine's Day is about prostitution. What? You teach your kids about Valentine's oh, no. Day, then you wonder why your daughter on OnlyFans showing her naked behind to the world. is very important because of this all of our people we trying to get our kids and our families in orders and then you wonder why your daughter sneaking boys in the house while you go off to work you wonder why your son and his boys is passing girls around the neighborhood you teach them to celebrate a fertility holiday that's based on orgies that's why you got your kids hunting for eggs on the church you don't know it's a fertility holiday it's about having sex rituals and orgies you sitting up in the Christian church don't know what Valentine's Day is. Right. Valentine's Day is about prostitution. What? You teach your kids about Valentine's oh, no. Day, then you wonder why your daughter on OnlyFans showing her naked behind to the world. Is a woman's behind when she bent over with her legs crossed. Right. That's right. because it was the ancient symbol after prostitution got outlawed. In order for you to find the house where the whores were, no. you would look for that symbol right. on the door. You understand? So when the Bible says you worship, ye know not what. The Christian church has taught us to worship all of these other gods. Because our people don't know history, because our people have been in religions, we don't know about any other people's culture. We don't know what we celebrate. You don't know why. How much sense does it make to chop a tree down out of the forest and put it in your living room? You tell your kids, don't bring the shoes on the carpet, don't drink juice outside the kitchen, because you don't want stains and spills in your house. But then you turn around on December 25th, and you take a damn tree out the forest and put it in your living room like a dummy. Your whole year, you've been fussing at the kids for messing up your carpet, then you take a tree out the woods and put it in your living room. Set your house on fire, tree drying up, you mad at the kids all the time for not turning the lights off in the house. Then you go and put every light you can find on a dry tree and set it in your living room and leave it on night and day. Run your electricity bill up. See how simple that is? And all the while, God is angry at you for doing it. That's why we get shot up at the graduation. That's why we get killed at traffic stops. That's why, that's why we end up with all these STDs and AIDS in our community. You're teaching your kids to celebrate orgy holidays. Like, we don't know what we worship in because we're in the Christian church. Christianity teaches our people to follow every other God and custom. That's why the people of those gods end up over the top of us in our neighborhoods. Because of all of the murders and crimes that the so-called white man has done to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you don't understand what God says hate is. Being a murderer is not what God said is hate. A murderer is a murderer. Being a rapist is not what God says hate is in the Bible. Hate is the opposite of what God said love is. God said, if you love me, keep my commandments. God gave us commandments on what to eat. God gave us commandments on who to have sex with and who not to. God gave us commandments on what sex you can have, what sex you cannot have. If you are black, Hispanic, or Native American, you cannot have sex with another nation of people. If you do, you hate God. And God says he will repay us for hating him. That's what the Bible is saying. The example, Trayvon Martin's father, Tracy Martin, listened to Martin Luther King. And Martin Luther King taught black people to go against God. And because he was taught this, he believed he could have sex with a white woman. And he brought his black son to a white gated community. And because he did something that was against God, God repaid him to his face for taking a woman of another nation. That is how and why his black son got murdered by George Zimmerman. That is in the Bible. 
The Bible is not magic. You understand? The Christian church has not taught us what is in the Bible. The Christian church has taught us songs and dances while we bury our loved ones. They taught us fairy tales, naked babies with wings, and magical pie in the sky. Oh, Meanwhile, every other people on the planet eats off of us right now on the earth, but you're going to get yours when you die. That is against God. Us joining another nation of people is how we lost our businesses. Where does your son work? Where does your daughter work? Where does your wife work? Chinese people work for Chinese people. Arabs work for Arabs. East Indians work for East Indians. Where do black people work? For white people, for Arabs, for Africans, for East Indians. Why is that? The clothes on your behind right now say made in India, made in Taiwan, made in China, made in Pakistan, made in everywhere. They make our clothes. Why don't we make our own clothes? Because we don't have it, because we joined another nation of people. That is God repaying us for disobeying him. That's what the scriptures are talking about. The preacher doesn't teach us what's in the Bible. If you went to any other place and their communities were filled with another race of people, they would not welcome you there. Black basketball players go to China and the Chinese are saying, nigga, 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 get out of China. You can look on YouTube right now and watch the video. Even though they're making the Chinese rich by even coming to America to play basketball. Why is that? Because God told us we were never supposed to join another nation of people. That's right. You understand? Yes. God gave us instructions that we did not follow because we listened to preachers. And it is costing us our lives. That's what the brother is bringing out. Man. God. And what that brother is saying is so important to understand is this. You understand? Nobody's children should be working after hundreds of years of working. If your family, if your father starts a multi-billion dollar business, five generations later, your sons and daughters, his ancestors, you understand, his descendants should not still be working every day and night. Everybody is able to benefit off the economy of America. Without slavery, there is no America. Right. Without the transatlantic slave trade, there is no America. Right. Without tobacco and cotton, there's no America. Without Mexicans in the field, there's no America. Without slaves working crops and plantations, there is no America. Without the murder of the Native Americans, there is no America. There are Europeans starving to death in the winter, dying in Europe from not taking baths and showers of the bubonic plague and contaminated water, getting sepsis, streets filled with feces and pigs and rats, that's where they would have stayed. There is no American economy for the Chinese, the Koreans, the Arabs, the Africans, the East Indians. The only reason there is an America is because of the rape, robbery, and slavery, and the wealth that our oppressors have gained off of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. There is no America without putting us in slavery. You would have never survived the winter. You can't work out in the sun and pick your own vegetables. Go and ask Florida what happens when you don't have slaves to work your field. Ask them about all the watermelon and asparagus and lettuce and tomatoes that are wilting away and dying hundreds of acres because silly President Biden forgot that Mexicans run the damn country and your grocery stores will be empty because of your racism and hatred for God's chosen people. But the Lord told us he will repay us back for disobeying him. If we obeyed God, America would fall tomorrow. America would fall. It would absolutely fall. Read that one more time. As a matter of fact, give me verse 3 real quick. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Because this is important. The Christian church has done such an evil thing to black people by not telling us what is actually in the Bible. Do you know that the Bible has so much wisdom and so much information that it can literally give you the answer to all of the questions and problems that you have in your life before you go commit a robbery? and get 15 years in prison. Before you go and get high and end up with drugs laced with fentanyl and you die as a teenager, the answers are in the Bible. Before you take a beef with another brother and then go and kill him at graduation, the answers are in the Bible. To stop murder, to stop kidnapping, to fix our families, to stop us from overdosing on drugs, 
All of the answers to our questions are in the Bible, but the Christian preacher failed to teach us what God said. That's right. That's right. Imagine how evil that is. If you have a treasure that someone planted for you and the person with the treasure map refused to teach you how to get the treasure. That is what church is. Uh -huh. Church right. stops us from getting what God has for us as a people. That's I'm going to show you. Give me seven and three. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse three. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. God wanted us to know to never join another nation of people. We were never supposed to make marriages with them. We were never supposed to join their military, never supposed to join their government, never supposed to let your sons and daughters marry with them. God said, don't do this. That's right. Keep going. Thy daughter, thou shalt not give unto his son. You are not supposed to give your black and Hispanic and Native American daughters to an Arab, to a white man, to an East Indian, to an Asian, to an African. God said, don't do that. Why did God say not to do it? Keep going. Nor his daughter, nor his daughter, nor Becky, or Mei Ling, or Min, or Su Young, or Wambutsu, you are not supposed to do that. Why did God say this? Keep going. Shalt thou take unto thy son. You are not supposed to let another nation of what people give their daughters to your son. God said don't do it. It's confusion. Keep going. Verse 4. For they will turn away thy son from following me. And here's the reason God said that. Because they will turn away your sons from following God. Now your sons are not interested in following the Most High. They're interested in being an Italian gangster. That blood and crimp, y'all think that's a black thing, right? Do you know that Rome and Greece had the same red versus blue? All of those Greek fraternities, that's where you get your gang signs from. That comes from Greco-Roman culture. Right. Secret handshakes, all of that. None of that is black people culture. That's not Mexican culture. That is Europeans culture. That was never our culture. But now because we join another nation of people, your son want to be the red and the blue. The brothers in blue and red shooting and killing and stabbing each other. That is a consequence from joining the other nations of people. Before we did that, guess what didn't happen? Young black boys weren't together in groups of hundreds fighting other young black boys. They weren't in the streets of Richmond. Richmond was not filled with murder. Before we joined our oppressor, the young black boys was being taught by granddaddies and uncles to build up the black community. And as soon as we stopped building up the black community, we started being gangsters like the Italian, want to be a Democrat and Republican like the American. We got rid of our beard. We shaved off our afros. We stopped talking about black this, black that. Now, we for everybody, Yaga dog. This not for black people, this for everybody. That's right. But the Chinese got a Chinatown. That's not for the Koreans. Right. That's not for the Japanese. Right. The Arabs got Arab communities. That's, right. That's not for the East Indians. That's not for the Africans. The Nigerians got them Afro beats. That ain't for black people. That's not for the Chinese. That's not for the whole planet. Everybody carves out what they need for their own people. And you've been taught that it's wrong to carve out your own for your people because we did the opposite of what God said.